Live from Streatham in South London, where a terror incident is unfolding tonight. One man has been shot dead by police. At least two other people are injured after being stabbed during the attack. It is an isolated incident and they're, they're, they are looking, they're looking into it. Helicopters the BBC on. goes on to report that he had a girlfriend, loved ISIS, who by the way kill more Muslims than anyone else, admitted to wanting to conduct a terrorist attack and expressed fascination with knives. He doesn't sound at all like a model Muslim, in fact quite the opposite, but unfortunately the public won't get to hear this bit to be Islamist uh, related. This was Islamist uh, related, which really that this is uh, Islamist related and Islamist uh, related. Yeah, let's bear in mind she said this in a space of only a few minutes. The link to the faith is becoming very normalised. Despite him doing all this and then getting let out has caused Almost people straight to away there were armed uh, police officers, there were also uh, it appears undercover um, non-uniform police officers around. Uh, look, in the last few minutes the BBC has been reporting that the attacker had just been released from prison. He had been serving a sentence for terrorist offences. This is an amazing thing, isn't it? So he's just released from prison for terror offences. He's so dangerous that we've got two men on him every time he steps out the door. Uh, and yet he's still able to go stabbing. It's interesting to kind of go there and... It's a tragic attack and of course Muslims feel the pain when this sort of stuff happens as statistically speaking we are greater victims of ISIS and state terrorism. Our prayers and condolences go out to those suffering from this.